tell us in the comments. Don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with everyone you know. Good evening, everybody. Tonight, uh, we have a special topic. Something that uh, affects uh, a lot of uh, sad people simply because uh, Lady Luck, so to speak, turns a blind eye to them when it comes to having a family, having their dream family, by mere fact of uh, their inability uh, to have a baby or having fertility issues. Okay, so tonight we'll tackle some pussy cases where it was still possible to be able to conceive a baby uh, on the following conditions no? for the couple provided uh, of course uh, age does matter uh, especially for the mother if uh, the mother is uh, uh, not yet menopause it's still possible no? biologically and uh, second would be other factors that can affect conception from a feng shui perspective and the uh, unique cases where uh, fertility issues were solved from which uh, these case studies uh, perhaps many of you who are listening now and uh, are affected uh, will be able to learn from i will call this segment uh, how to cook a baby okay uh, or cooking the parents uh, so to speak why uh, in feng shui uh, there are certain places assigned to members of the family you know? so there's a place for the father and a place for the mother so the first mortal sin when it comes to uh, uh, having a baby will be if inadvertently or hindi sinasadya na lagay nyo yung cooking appliance any cooking appliance for that matter symbol of fire on the spot dedicated for the energies of the father or the mother or both okay so what does that mean if you put fire element there in your kitchen uh, where it burns literally fatherhood or motherhood uh, it will be hard to conceive the baby you burn away the good life energy or chi of any or both of the parents okay uh, a case for instance would be uh, uh, recently I had a client to move in into a, a new condo and they were hardly uh, asking me to do feng shui and I was surprised why it's simply because the wife had a miscarriage okay so when we checked the kitchen wow they committed uh, one of the greatest uh, errors in feng shui uh, since their kitchen was situated in a corner l-shaped uh, uh, corner that's where they placed the stove uh, being designers they wanted a beautiful uh, uh, kitchen design they placed mirrors on both sides of the wall where the l intersects in the corner so it, it, you can see all around the stove uh, what's happening but uh, suffice it to say one mirror uh, was facing the direction of fatherhood and the other mirror was facing the direction of motherhood so the net effect in Pung Sui was they were literally burning away the life energies of reproduction for both parents no? for both uh, husband and wife it burns away fatherhood and motherhood 
So we had to uh, remove the wall mirror in the uh, uh, kitchen stove walls, no? uh, left and right of the kitchen stove. Okay, so that's one. Uh, if still single, that's another defect, especially now in close quarter condominiums. No, if you're single and you have one mirror beside your stove or both mirrors can affect fatherhood or motherhood. It can affect single members of the family. So if you want to uh, be uh, a fulfilled person, of course, you like to raise a family of your own. No? And uh, this second tip of uh, having the right bed uh, will be uh, good. No? The third case is not only having the right bed, but having it positioned in the proper directions uh, in the bedroom that will be suitable for the couple, both husband and wife, so that their reproductive system and life energies or chi will be able to uh, reproduce accordingly with no impediments in their meridians or system no disease so to speak okay so what are the considerations here the major consideration is in the bedroom uh, the bed headboard should be towards the health directions balance for the two couples no? and second there should be no impediments in the flow of energy in the room that can affect the individual life energy or chi of every uh, individual uh, in the room no? the husband and wife primarily overhead beams no? especially in close quartered condominiums nowadays very popular in the Ortigas area uh, uh, I had a case uh, client there for seven years the couple had no kids so uh, they asked to be full so it, it turns out their uh, master's bedroom the middle of the uh, master's bedroom bed was right under an overhead beam and that beam is bad because it exerts pressure especially on the womb uh, of the mother so it's hard to conceive a child so, so all we did was to move the bed away uh, away from the overhead beam no? and now uh, the couple is living happily ever after now with five children from zero okay so that's how uh, uh, the flow of energy can affect uh, the scope of uh, reproductivity of an individual as well as a couple. now there are other inducements that can uh, uh, help first in having a baby and second in let's say choosing gender uh, Chinese normally they like to have a baby boy especially for the elder son no? so one feng shui practice observed by many is to hang two red lanterns the red ones uh, you can see during Chinese New Year uh, left and right of the master bedroom bed okay and when you have this uh, it's either in the master bedroom beside the bed or left and right of the main door outside 
of the house. Okay? So this attracts a uh, baby boy. No? Well, uh, I used not to believe, but me having three daughters, uh, when I learned about this in Feng Shui, I tried it out. Uh, one Chinese New Year, a good friend of mine who is in charge of Rizal Park, concert at the park after a Chinese New Year festival, uh, wanted to give me Chinese lanterns. So I just asked for eight pairs. And what I did was I used a pair and uh, I gave to seven other clients of mine who wanted to have a baby boy. And guess what? Within that year, all of us uh, had a baby boy. Okay? So that's how uh, uh, inducements, some call it lucky charms, no? can uh, help in uh, the art and science of conception using Feng Shui. Okay? Now there's another couple. Uh, they had a problem. Well, they encountered a fake Feng Shui. And apparently, this fake Feng Shui prescribed to them having a lion and a tiger in the house, figurines. Okay. That's very bad symbol in Feng Shui. It attracts death. Because man-eating animals eat alive, no? so uh, it leads to miscarriage. So the wife had several miscarriages until uh, 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 a good friend of her uh, referred me, and I told them to please remove the lion and tiger symbols in your house. It's just very bad okay so after they removed that uh, we added another inducement which is the traditional gift to newlyweds in Chinese the Buddha with five kids uh, for them to attract having happy children and this you have to put in your master's bedroom uh, beside your uh, bed and indeed they uh, started uh, conceiving kids uh, effortlessly no? <laughs> no more uh, miscarriages it came to a point after five children the wife was returning the Buddha to me <laughs> he was uh, <laughs> she's giving up in <laughs> having too much children okay so uh well that's available no? uh, uh anywhere no? even in uh, online you can acquire one no? and put it in your uh, bedroom the other one is contrary sign uh, let's say if you're a monkey sign as much as possible um, um, avoid marrying a, t a tiger sign okay because uh, uh not only will be always world war three but the utmost suffering will be your inability to uh, have your dream family if unable to conceive a child okay now these three incompatibilities uh, having the same sign having contrary uh, elements and having contrary signs are not only critical in terms of partnership between mother and father to be or wanna be that can affect conception and have fertility issues but it can be between uh, would-be mother and would-be child so you, there's such thing as Feng Shui family planning. Uh, as I mentioned, let's say, if mother is a fire monkey, never scheduled to have a baby 
whereby your baby will become uh, uh, under the uh, Chinese zodiac year, your baby will be a water dragon. Okay, uh, especially if the mother is a fire monkey and uh, the would be child is a water tiger. So double clash, clash of elements and clash of Chinese zodiac sign. Now, what's difficult in this? Why will it be difficult to uh, to bear a child? Because it can lead to difficult pregnancy. Uh, eventually, you might suffer what you call ectopic pre- pregnancy or an abortion. Uh, miscarriage or at the end of the day sometimes uh, difficult childbirth that can even lead to miscarriage no? either the baby does not survive or the parent the mother or both no? so that's how tricky family planning in Feng Shui can get huh? So you have to be careful about uh, compatibilities on these three counts. Uh, signs, elements, and contrary signs. Case would be uh, uh-huh. wrong symbols. Okay. Uh, one of the worst symbols in the design of a house which can affect uh, conception of a baby or two no? uh, first is octagon okay never have any octagon design in the house be it a ceiling design a table design even now after you watch this you look at your uh, dinnerware if you have octagon plates or if you have octagon na uh, ilalim ng baso when you drink these big glasses like you say para juralek when you look at the, the bottom if it's eight equal sides that's very bad it's called the bagua no and never have bagua inside your house or premises especially offices too it makes you stagnant no so if you don't have a baby now you're locked in in that situation, it's difficult to have a baby. So other octagons will be plastic cases of rosaries. Okay. Uh, they may be round on top, the top, the cover, but underneath is an octagon. The most popular is an eight equal side umbrella. Okay. Uh, that's an octagon. Okay. Others will be ashtrays. And sometimes there's a popular hotel who gives away octagon uh, wall clocks. That's very bad, no? Uh, it locks in your present status. Okay, hard to uh, progress even in having babies. Okay, so that's one having an octagon. The other one is having a spiral staircase at home. Okay. This is one of the consequences of spiral staircase as bad feng shui. Uh, it can thwart just like a, a tornado uh, your personal dreams and plan. And part of it could be having a, a baby. Okay. So, bad symbols like that, in addition to uh, lions and tigers, can uh, affect uh, conception. Okay, so you have to be careful. Uh, uh, share with you another case, no? Uh, that can be an impediment to having a baby. No? And this is the worst case, when you have the wrong house. Okay, when I say wrong house, the Feng Shui is really bad, but uh, anywhere, it's hard to 
conceived, no? As copper. So, what's the remedy? Very simple. Uh, you make baby in another place that's properly feng shui for you. Even if it's in a hotel, staycation place, or uh, uh, the most popular uh, baby making place of all tourist spots in the Philippines, when we're talking about uh, going local, is Boracay. No? Because uh, Boracay is blessed, especially the white beach area, stations one to three, facing southwest. And southwest is the place of motherhood. Okay. Uh, normally, uh, ladies, when they, they go to Boracay, are uh, full of chi that they attract motherhood no? okay and usually get pregnant okay so many many a tourist <laughs> uh, have made in Boracay babies okay so that's the only way uh, uh, with the guidance of your feng shui master uh, seek out proper direction uh, places Go on vacation, honeymoon, second honeymoon, third honeymoon, for you to able to realize your dreams. Okay, so that's one example. Let's uh, uh, proceed to your questions. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, Makali. What would be the best position of the bed? Okay, the best position of the bed uh, in Feng Shui for every individual of the couple. No? Sometimes you have common Feng Shui, sometimes no. That's why I specified single beds uh, earlier. Because uh, more often than that, than not, uh, you have separate Feng Shui directions. The best position is what you call in Feng Shui the health direction. For every person, there is a good health direction. And when you're into that direction, uh, uh, all your meridians are balanced, especially your uh, hormone, the productive system, and that's why provided that you have no medical impediment, uh, you can be able to conceive a baby in relation to our topic. Okay, next question. Uh, what would be the best figurine in the bedroom to conceive? Oh, well, as I mentioned earlier, the Buddha with five happy children around him is the best, uh, uh, if you call it amulet, uh, amulet for having a baby. That's why it's a very popular gift in Chinese tradition for newlyweds. No? So uh, the symbol of five children symbolizes the five elements, a balanced, happy family. When I asked the husband, he confessed that he just only wanted one child. And so after his eldest was born, he never took off his shorts anymore <laughs> to fulfill his <laughs> one-child policy in the family. Okay, so uh, uh, no, there are various uh, unique human stories. Uh, in life, no? and this is one of them. Okay, so uh, let's proceed. The other question. Okay, Teen Bursa. Birthday of wife is 1981. Okay, your wife is uh, Earth Rooster. 
Last month is November 81. Ah, same sign. Okay. Earth rooster, you are wood rooster. What would be the best position to conceive? Okay. <laughs> Second question. You conceive a child in 2012, but have difficulty conceiving another. Okay. That's very relevant. When you said 2012, that was a water black dragon year and it's an excellent year for roosters because dragons and roosters uh, bring luck to each other so normally it's hard for you to conceive a child because of rooster to rooster sign regardless of element no so the dragon brought you luck no uh, that year now in terms of uh, compatibility of element you being wood and your wife being earth actually you're compatible but the difference is your bed or when you conceive baby your headboard or both of your heads if you cannot move the bed should be towards uh, east northeast or south southwest okay uh, you can just use a compass and uh, uh, try it out of course following also uh, the lapses in the pre- learning in uh, other cases no? so you have to uh, take off your shorts okay just uh, kidding, no? but uh, congratulations, your dragon baby brings you enormous luck, okay, as a rooster couple. Okay. So, next question. Oh, Jeff Navarro, boy, do you have other recommended place for hotels in Manila to conceive? Oh. Anything along the southwest grid, Jeff. So, Rojas Boulevard, perfect. Moa, perfect. Okay. Those are southwest. If you want to go real southwest, uh, Sangli area, Kapite, <laughs> you uh, beach resorts. Okay. Even uh, as far as Ternate. Okay. As long as it's in the southwest periphery. Uh, please check our birth dates. Mine is September 80, and my husband, okay, you're a female uh, water monkey. My husband is 78. Oh, he's uh, he's water horse. Okay, so your both elements are water, very compatible, and uh, your uh, horse and monkey, very compatible because of we even have that figurine monkey riding a horse together you can overcome any difficulty but it's not advisable for you to have a baby next year the year of the tiger because it goes against your sign tiger versus monkey might be difficult pregnancy as i described earlier okay uh this year not also it's best to have a rabbit baby after the tiger year 2023 if you're gonna go for it okay i hope that answers your question uh please check our birthdays okay top stay on okay mine september oh we finished that okay oh welcome jeff okay jeff is in Houston right now, Texas, okay. You don't have a problem, Houston, okay. So, any other questions? Before, uh, next question, if you're still thinking it up, let me share with you one of my weirdest uh, uh, fertility and conception uh, cases in Feng Shui. Uh, one of the global Rotary presidents 
invited me to uh, uh, be a guest speaker for one Chinese New Year session for the Rotary Club of Forbes Park uh, years back. Okay. And uh, uh, the real purpose for my guesting actually was the president of the club, young lady, had difficulty conceiving a child. So during the open forum session, uh, she asked me for tips. So when I asked the birthday of her husband and hers and did certain prognosis as to uh, the location of their room, their bed, and their kitchen, wow, uh, the locations were off because she sketched it in the uh, whiteboard, no? Okay. But there was a window of opportunity, just like I described the condo of the Japanese mother for her daughter. The only way for them to conceive a baby <laughs> of all places was the laundry room. Okay, so I kidded her. Uh, you know, the only way you're seriously having a baby is on top of a new washing machine on a Sunday afternoon, 1 p.m. when no one is around. <laughs> Let all your mates take leave and drivers. Okay, so I forgot all about it. That was summertime January. Come around the mid-year, I received a text, which unfortunately my wife received, uh, was holding my phone. And there were there in big letters, yung Nokia pa nun eh, yung phone. Congratulations, in all caps, we're having when a When is baby. the best time to conceive? This year or next year? Uh, for, if I remember right, your dog and uh, uh, she's big. Oh, the best time to conceive is late this year. So your baby will be born next year. Water tiger. Perfect for a dog and a year of the pig. Uh, uh, mother and father. will bring you enormous luck. Okay. Got it? So, if Miwa is listening, you know na, okay? Alam na this. Is elephant a good figurine for conception? Oh, only, you know, only one type of elephant can be uh, the one with the trunks down. Not, not, na, <laughs> no malisa. I mean the nose, the trunk, down. It's a symbol for good health. Okay, the one with the trunks up uh, uh, scares away evil only. It does not signify uh, good health. So, in relation to your question, in terms of conception, uh, uh, trunks down. Okay. Of course, there are other uh, uh, limits, no? Sometimes you have to face hard reality. Uh, a couple will really, because of age or certain medical uh, impediments, can uh, 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 impede their having a baby. So this is where traditional solutions come in. And they also bring luck, no? even in Feng Shui. First is adoption. Okay, and uh, others go the medical scientific way, like in vitro, surrogate mothers, or uh, even uh, fathers for that matter. No? Uh, nothing wrong as long as uh, the most important is the decision of the couple is mutual and makes them happy. For the rest of their life. Stay tuned for the next episode only here on Big Media.